Come, Eros. Eros! What would, my lord? Since Cleopatra died, I have lived in such dishonor that the gods detest my baseness. Thou art sworn, Eros, that when the exigent should come, which has come indeed, that thou wouldst kill me. Do it! The time is come. Thou strikest not me. To Caesar thou defeatest. Put color in thy cheeks. The gods withhold me. Shall I do that which all the Parthian darts, though enemy, lost aim and could not? Eros, wouldst thou see thy master thus, with pleached arms, bending his corrigible neck, his face subdued with penetrative shame, whilst the wheeled seat of fortunate Caesar drawn before him, branded his baseness and sued? I would not see it. Come then, for by a wound I must be cured. Draw thy honest sword, which thou hast worn most useful for thy country. Oh, sir, pardon me. When I made thee free, swarest thou not that that would do this when I bade thee? Do it once! All thy precedent services are all but accidents unpurposed. Draw and come. Turn from me then that noble countenance, wherein the worship of the whole world lies. Lo, thee. My sword is drawn. Then let it do once the thing where thou hast drawn it. My dear master, my captain and my emperor, let me say before I strike this bloody stroke, farewell. To said men and farewell. Farewell, great chief. Shall I strike now? No, Eros. Why there then? <laughs> and thus I escaped the sorrow of Antony's death. Thrice nobler than myself. Thou teachest me, O oh, valiant Eros, what I should, but thou couldst not. My queen and Eros, by their instruction, have got upon me a nobleness and record. Eros. Thy master dies, thy pupil, to do thee thus. Oh.